Hello everyone. Today let's see how to configure the Raspberry Pi for the kernel module developments. So I have here uh, the required Raspberry Pi kit and uh, powered with the power socket here and uh, an Ethernet cable. So the Raspberry Pi kit is connected to the system using a static IP. So we have configured the SD card for the static IP and we have detected it on the laptop here using the simple SSH2. So the, the way to connect the Raspberry Pi kit onto the laptop using this SSH link uh, has been already told in the previous video. So if you have an issue you can refer it there. Now let's see how to connect it, uh, how to configure this Raspberry Pi by making some necessary installation on the terminal. So we are going to open the Malva XTERM, so which has a X forwarding technique uh, for uh, connecting my Raspberry Pi kit uh, on a static IP. So as I already mentioned you that this is connected with the IP 169.254.106.250 so let me start a session either you can click here and uh, you can start a session by putting the IP address as 169 same as this 169.254.106 and we have given the last as 250 value as 250 so just say ok so it will open a login terminal now the pi is connected over this such link so the pass the username is pi login name is pi and the password is raspberry so as you can see here now we are in the file system this is the raspberry pi file system so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start a graphical user interface by using the command start lxde this will start the graphical user interface you can uh, uh, make some of the settings is better in the graphical user interface if you don't know the commands so any unix commands you are aware of or uh, you can actually use this graphical user interface to work on now you can see here the graphical user interface is appear you can minimize this now you can see here this is the way it looks you can see that toolbar is on the the bottom corner so this is actually the bottom toolbar so if you if sometime it will overlap with the system so that you may not be able to get it so what we'll do is we will put this toolbar on the top so what for that you need to right click in the bottom toolbar section here and select the panel setting so choose the panel setting and create it as top the position you can choose the top now it has appeared on the top so say ok to it and now it has appeared on the top now let's add the wireless connectivity and all so for that again right click on this and choose add on remove panels items so once you do add or remove panel items the items are listed which is already present so what you can do is you can add certain items here on the plugin panel you can choose whatever you need so let's add a wireless network okay wireless and wire network we can add and now it has appeared here so say okay to it now once you do this you can double click on this and uh, you can see already some of the available network so i have the network as the test i'm going to connect it so, so you connect it to the network by clicking over it. So it will ask a password. So you can give the network password, whichever the Ethernet that you are, Ethernet wireless network that you are using. So you can use your cell phone as a wireless hotspot and you can connect it to the Raspberry Pi kit. Now the first thing that you need to do is you can also work in the SSH link here. Now actually you cannot do anything because now we are running the GUI session. So if you want to do it, you can open a terminal separately in the GUI here. So what I will do is I am going to open an application here. Just click on the Raspberry Pi. Here you can see the 
preferences and you can see here uh, system tools you can open a linux terminal click on the linux terminal one terminal will open so here what i can do is i can just install some other things so first thing that you need to do is to give the sudo command so we can use a sudo command to sudo uh, apt update so you can update your system after connecting it to the network so first thing you do this one is sudo apt update so update your system this will take some time depending on the network speed so so as you can see now uh, this got updated now so we are ready to use it with the required updates okay Let me try this again by opening a terminal and you can open a system call and just update it. Sudo apt get update so it was disconnected from the network. Okay, so it got updated. Uh, now what you can do is uh, you need to see the development module whether it is you have the enough Linux kernel development module. So uh, what I prefer uh, you to do is you need to check the location that is ls. So check the location. So let me choose a location ls So better to first find the kernel that you are using hyphen r so this is the kernel that I am using so just to see whether you have the required modules for the generation so I have uh, when you are doing it first time there, there won't be any module as such so you need to install everything from the scratch the required header files for the kernel module development so the required header files for the kernel mod development can be downloaded from the, the Linux repository. So for that you need to use sudo apt install raspberry pi. 
so kernel then headers so just do this sudo apt get install raspberry pi kernel headers so this will connect to the internet and depending on the your speed so hit the enter key depending on the speed of the network it will take around 5 to 10 minutes which will be having around uh, 100 and uh, 100 200 mb of the size so once you do this you can actually so i have already did so i will not repeat this because it is the same procedure i have i'm not going to reinstall this again so what you need to do is you need to now check the directory so ls let module modules then the kernel that i am using the 5.4.79 plus and now you are supposed to get the build directory so earlier this does not have a build directory it will have only the kernel and associated module so we will get this build directory once you execute that install the linux header files required so go to the builds and this will have the required uh, you know configuration header files for your linux development so now what you need to do is you can create a make file in the required directory so what you can do is you can use your normal gui or uh, you can also use the the command window to go to the browser so let me uh, use a command window here so what you can do is you can just click on this so it will open a file system now on the file system you can create a folder here so under documents i created a project here so what you can do is you can just uh, let me so under this you can create a make file okay so what you can do is you can right click here if not possible just click here file new file so make the file as make file okay you can re rename that the same and you open it this will be opened with the normal editor and you can create a make file so now right now i have created the make file in this way object hyphen simple module o and so on so we are going to do this uh, the build process uh, how to make the build process by generating the required kernel modules and we will insert so first thing that you need to do is you need to install the uh, so in summary you need to install the linux uh, header files required for this so that's it uh, for the 